Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Brother Stu. Back to Bible videos. I want to thank God for this opportunity. I want to acknowledge the Lord in all of my ways and He direct our path and in all things He alone get the glory. Um, praise be to God. I'm trying to work on our channel, you know, try to update it and make it a little bit more professional, I guess, you know. Not really a big deal to me, you know, just trying new things, you know, you know just playing around with, with with my computer and things of that nature. So but I thank God. I thank God for my little background and little intro thing that we try to do. So just praise be to God. It's not about the intro, not about the background, it's not even about who I am, what I look like. It's about the message of Jesus Christ. That's, that takes the preeminence over all those things. But um, praise be to God. I'm going to the Lord in all of my ways that he may direct our path and in all things here alone get the glory. Um, I want to, this topic tonight is going to be called, I don't know what to call it, you know, to be honest. I don't want to call it fight. I don't want to call it work while it, is, while it is called day um, or night cometh, the, the night cometh. And um, I just been thinking about it some time and I praise God that um, last night, praise to God, uh, one of the elders um, spoke on it. He touched on it a little bit and um, I wanted to start in Genesis chapter one, beginning at verse 15. And, uh, and I'll read down to verse 18. Hope the sound quality is good as, as it's late here and, and my little ones are trying to go to bed. So I hope the sound is good. If not, I have to do this all over again. But praise be to God. Genesis chapter 1, beginning at verse 15. Actually, 16, pardon me. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness and God saw that it was good. Today I was reading Genesis from chapter one. I believe I stopped at verse 11, at chapter 11. And I can't get into all of it into this video, hardly any of it, just this little portion When I read Genesis, God is so awesome. There's so much you see in Genesis. Genesis is the beginning of everything. If you look through all the 66 books of the Bible, everything started from Genesis. Genesis talks about the future, talks about the present. It, it literally sets the tone the foundation for everything for to God and I in this entire world. Even God destroying the first world and starting it starting over with Noah was for a specific reason. Everything that God done is do has done and is doing was for a reason, a specific reason. And there's so many, many layers to the things that God has said. God made two great lights, the greater to rule the day and the lesser to rule the night. He made the stars also. 
and they were made with a specific purpose. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that he was good. Now, if you go to the earlier verses of this same chapter of Genesis, the creation. From the beginning, the emphasis, the emphasis on the separation of light and darkness. God made these two great lights, the sun and the moon. to rule the day and want to rule the night and to divide the light from the darkness. Now in the beginning when God said, let there be light and God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness. Now, clearly you can see when he spoke that then was something different and specific to what he said with the sun and the moon. See, God is light. This is really deep because God is always light. There's no darkness in him at all. So the, the revelation, the, the, the insight, the enlightenment to understand the, di the different, the, the dividing, the, the separation between light and darkness was the first thing God put in place. was the first thing God put in place. Light, darkness. Evening and the morning were the first day and God saw it was good. The heavens and the earth reflect the order of God. Glory to God. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Now we go back to verse 18 where he says, and to rule over the day. I want you to be patient with me. Darkness. has a time darkness is is given a specific time with a specific amount of authority There is a time and a season to everything under the sun. As we turn to the Gospel of John and verse nine, chapter nine and verse four, to give a, a back story to this chapter. I'll just read from verse one. In, in John chapter nine, beginning at verse one, but my focus verse is verse four. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And the disciples asked him saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as as I am in the world, I am 
the light of the world. Just to clarify for maybe some of the new viewers, Jesus is telling his disciples that is we all we know that we're all born in sin and shaped in iniquity. What Jesus is telling his disciples that is that it wasn't sin that which was a result of this man being born blind or his parents. It did not say that they were not born in sin or did not have sin. Sin was not a result of him being blind. He's, he clearly says, no, that's not the reason. It's that, that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Glory to God in the eyes. Glory to God. I must work the works of him that sent me. While it is day, night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. There's so much that can be said, so many scriptures we can go to. But I try to be cognizant of people's intention span, especially in this day and time. We have to work while we have the opportunity to. We have to work. We have to do our father's business. We must be about our father's business while we have the opportunity to do it. Because there's coming there's come a time where it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to do anything. It's going to be hard to do anything. Because darkness has a time has its cause to rule. The, already, the Bible says the mystery of iniquity doth already work. And he who letteth will let until he be taken out of the way and that man of sin be revealed. The rulers of the darkness of this world, the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. But the children of light, we got to work. We got to work now. Glory to God and honors. We have to work now. Coming on here, talking to you, it's fine. But it's more than coming on here. We got we to gotta get out there. People need to physically see us. Glory to God and eyes, because the way this the, 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 the digital age is going and these these companies that are that are being manipulated and controlled by the rulers of darkness, they don't want us out there talking. They don't want us on these platforms preaching the gospel. They don't want us telling the truth and exposing the lies and the corruption and the deceptions. They don't want us on here doing that. They can shut this off but they can't stop physically us going out there and telling the good news. They can fight, they can try. We be suffering, we be persecuted, but they can't stop that. There's really no, there's no really no opposition us coming on here because it's just me, the camera, glory to God and the Bible. Somebody may put a reckless comment here and there. Somebody might do a little 
exposed video on Brother Stu or whatever, whatever, but other than them kicking me off this platform, really not much opposition, not much suffering behind it. I know the enemy in the spiritual realm doesn't like when we come on here and tell the truth and expose the deception and preach life unto the people, which is in Jesus Christ. The devil hates that. So he will try to, if he's allowed to afflict this body and try to mess with our mind and things of that nature. But like the apostles, when he was out there in the street and preaching, getting stoned, getting, getting, getting beat, getting whipped, getting challenged by the, 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 the laws of land to not to speak in the name of Jesus. We got to work. Whatever our hands find to do, let's, let's do it. Night cometh when no man can work. Glory to God. Matthew 25, then came, then shall the kingdom of heaven be like unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took, no, took their lamps and took no oil with them. So there's a period of time where, glory to God, we have to have some, have our faith stored up. We have to have our anointing stored, stirred up, sto stored up. By the grace of God, our prayer life has to be stored up, built up. It's a, it is now, it's so beautiful and rare now to even be able to physically Fellowship with brethren. And it's Lord, by the, if, if the Lord's will, it's going to even be harder. So when we don't have that connection, we don't have, when we, I have, when we don't have that relationship. That's when the time we're going to have to really lean on God for ourselves. Glory to God. These, these foolish virgins didn't do that. They took the lamps. You know what a lamp, a lamp produces light, but it needs something in there. It needs oil to maintain that light. Because without the oil, the, the lamp is not going to last that long. It's going to burn out. So they had something that carried light, that was for light, but didn't have the main tangible ingredient to maintain that light. What it, they didn't need a lamp in the daytime. Lamps are used to give guidance at night. When it's dark, when it's hard to see. And saints of God, viewers, night is coming. We need to ask the Most High God, Lord God, Fill me up with yourself, with your light, with your word. Open our understanding. Build up ourselves on our most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Because we're going to need the light when darkness comes. So we don't stumble. Glory, to, so we don't stumble like the, like the rest. So we don't be like those that feeling around that don't know which way they're going. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. See, they were prepared for when night came. We need to get back to self-examining ourselves. This, this bickering over a whole lot of things we need, to really, we need to really pray about that. Praise God. 
but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. slumbered and slept. So even if we're asleep, when we sleep, we have to go to sleep prepared. Jesus says, there'd be some standing here that, sh that shall not taste death. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Every, everyone may not go into the grave. But whatever, we, whether we slumber or sleep, we have to make sure we are prepared. You say, wait a minute, Brother Stu, how can you be prepared when you're dead? Only by the grace and mercy of God that you, you will hearken to the word of God, repent of your sins, be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of your sins. Wait for the promise of the Father, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, being, being endued with power from on high. Glory to God. And only by the grace of God, whenever he decides to take you, you go into the grave ready. We can't do that on our own. And, and, and in the last closing words of Jude, the epistle of Jude said, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and ever. Amen. Now unto him that is able. Glory to God. We can't keep ourselves from falling. We can't present ourselves faultless. He's the keeper and he's making the presentation. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. And they were in the dark. Glory to God. They were in the dark. They couldn't see. They only, at the time, the, the only thing they realized is when the cry was made, they realized they lacked. Hallelujah to God. We don't want to be in that position. With all this going on in the world today, Jesus said, night cometh when no man can work. He said, I must, I must, I must, I must work the work of him that sent me. If you say you were sent, we gotta do something. Hallelujah to God. The false prophets and the deceivers, they are busy. The politicians, the so-called elite, they are busy. What about us? Black Lives Matter is protesting their cause. Antifa protesting their cause. The Proud Boys is protesting their cause. The conservatives is pro protesting their cause. The Democrats is protesting their cause, the LGBT is, promote, is pro protesting their cause. Everybody's busy. But where, where are we? Where's God's people? Me included, where am I at? Where's Brother Stu?
the reason why lies has so much impact, even though the truth is not popular, is because people who know the truth don't do not do doesn't say anything about it. You know why? Because we we listen to our flesh and we tell ourselves. Uh, why bother? Nobody's going to believe me. We got to get out of that mindset because it's not up to us to decide who's going to believe or who's going to believe. We just have to tell the truth. So, because we know the truth, we just sit back. Yeah, that's a lie, but I'm not going to say anything. Nobody gonna believe me. And you just sit there. Meanwhile, the liar, the lies just keep spreading and spreading. People keep believing the lie. Yeah, you sit, we sitting there on the truth. Yeah, I'm not gonna say nothing because they ain't gonna believe me. We have to ask God to help us to get out of that. Pray for me. We mean well in Jesus' name. Pray for me. I pray for you. We love you. Peace be unto you. Good night.